After President Biden withdrew from the race due to health and age concerns, Vice President Kamala Harris quickly launched her 2024 presidential campaign, hoping to enlist the help of fellow Democrats. Well, on Sunday, Harris's campaign staff and supporters placed hundreds of calls on her behalf, pleading with Democratic Party convention delegates to support her candidacy for president in the 5th of November against Republican frontrunner Donald Trump. While well, the 59-year-old Black and the Asian-American Harris would create a whole new dynamic with the 78-year-old Trump, providing a striking generational and cultural split screen. Well, analysts predict that Vice President Kamala Harris, uh, the first Black woman to run for president, will make history. Well, this will depend on the Democratic Party formally picking Biden's deputy in August to be his successor in the November elections, which would pit her against outgoing President Donald Trump. Jason Bungai of Voice of America tells us more. Now, I'm sure by now you've heard that President Joe Biden has announced that he will not seek re-election, which is a historic moment in American politics. Biden's choice was influenced by concerns within his party regarding his age, which is highlighted by the fact that he is the oldest serving president in U.S. history at the age of 81. Additionally, the first debates of the current election season raised questions about his mental sharpness and stamina required for a rigorous campaign season. After announcing his decision, Biden endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris, which if she ultimately secures the nomination, she would be the first black woman and first Asian American to lead a major political party's ticket. This could have a profound impact on the political landscape energizing various demographics within the electorate and potentially reshaping the party's strategies and policies. Only say that the challenge right now for the Democratic Party is how to quickly unify around a new candidate to maintain momentum and to present a cohesive front against a highly energized Republican Party uh, and find ways to energize the base while appealing to those swing state voters and the independents. Well, at 11.30 a.m. local time, Vice President Kamala Harris will make remarks on the White House South Lawn during a celebration honoring the 2023 to 2024 National Collegiate Athletic Association Championship team. Well, Harris will make her first public appearance since Biden withdrew from the presidential campaign at the previously planned event.